The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman is back inside of Hold Field House. Final home stand of the year. Two games straight at home for the Lady Eagles with Mike Mincy and Michael Watching for the Eagles Sports Network. And coach, you get these two home games back to back. You have just three guaranteed ones left in the campaign. Uh, what's it take for this team to finish the year strong at home, knowing that you've given away some tight games this year? You know, I think right now it's just uh, a matter of being fresh, um, you know, enjoying each other's company, uh, still wanting to compete with each other and for each other. Uh, obviously, you know, we've had a, a pretty good year. We're 16 and six. And so uh, I think we have a lot to look forward to down the stretch uh, as we finish out these six regular season games and certainly going into the tournament. When you look at what your team did last week, uh, two teams that you've controlled for the most part over the last three or four years, but you had to kind of grind it out there in the second half against both teams. What is there to learn from those two games? Well, you know, we talked about it, I guess, at Mars Hill about um, letting your foot off the gas kind of thing. And, and, I, and I've looked back on that again, you know, at, at one point there we were up 38 or 40. And so, you know, we take the press off. Uh, when you're in those kind of games, uh, the press allows you to, to continue to play hard, that kind of stuff. And, um, um, you know, we take the press off. You're getting in the half court. Um, I wouldn't say they're necessarily running the shot clock down, but you're in the half court a little long, I, you know, and I don't know. And then it affects you on the offensive end. Um, there was just a stretch there where Marshall got really hot and, and uh, we did not get hot and we got outscored and got the margin down there around 20. But, uh, and then when we, we turned back the pressure up and, and then we were fine from there. And then at Coker on Saturday, I mean, Coker, Coker's got some good athletes. They've got some good size. They can switch across the board. Um, you know, I think it just kind of didn't really catch us off guard. We just uh, we missed some bunnies, didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Uh, but then in turn, we played one of the probably the best defensive games we played all year. When you look at this Lenore Ryan side, you you were up by 30 at halftime at their place. Uh, they were able to get on the glass though. Uh, they had 47 total rebounds. Looked like their energy was up in that second half, and they're playing for something down the stretch, yeah. trying to make sure that they get into the top eight in this conference situation. What's it take to be successful Wednesday night? Well, I mean, the, you know, obviously going over there and, and being up 30 is not uh, something that happens very often, and I don't know that another team has done it this year. I just think we played really well, and they shot the ball really bad, and then we came out in the second half, and it is another situation where um, our energy level wasn't like theirs in the third quarter, and it showed, and I think they outscored us. And, uh, you know, in the fourth quarter, especially in the fourth quarter, late fourth quarter, we gave up a lot of offensive rebounds uh, with mixed lineups out there that uh, we didn't leave the game feeling as good about ourselves as we did the way we, you know, played that first half. But uh, they are, you know, a lot of teams, everybody's playing for something different at this point in time, and everybody's stress level is different. Obviously, they're wanting to make the tournament. Uh, they're one of those middle pack teams that I consider to be a dangerous type team that, uh, you know, if you don't show up and play well, obviously you can, uh, you can carry a loss home. And, and obviously at home, we've already given up three. We can't afford to give up any more. And, uh, you know, there's, we know what our goals are and what we're shooting for. Uh, we talk about it just about every day. And so the players know what's at stake when they take the floor Wednesday night. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck Wednesday. Thank you, Michael. He's Carson Newman, Coach Mike Mincy. I'm Michael Watchring for the Eagle Sports Network.